All right, pleasant blessings to everyone this fine morning. I pray all is well with you. I want to give you a, a brief update on the uh, Orisha Lifestyle Academy's Abel Kuta campus. Um, special thanks to everybody who has contributed to our fundraising initiative. And um, thank you to everyone who has helped by sharing the link and spreading the word amongst your uh, circle of influence. Uh, we're uh, over $8,500 right now, which is great. And it's, it's gonna help us execute on our beautiful opportunity to uh, build the campus there in Abelkuta. And we're also uh, finalizing a, a small, increasing our blessing that's gonna have a, a really big impact on our ability to uh, show and prove over in Abelkuta. Namely that um, we started off with one property in mind and now um, we're, we're, we're looking to double the space, the, the amount of land that, that we're gonna acquire. And that was unexpected. So uh, I'm really thankful. And I, like I said, it's a small thing in, in, the, in the, you know, grand scheme of life, but it's a big thing. It's a big indicator that we're in the right place at the right time and um, we're poised to get more traction in the days to come. So uh, I wanna encourage you to be a part of, of this, this really, really special and unique opportunity to create um, a learning environment, to create a, hu a hub and a headquarters within uh, Belkuta for learning. And with that, I wanna say just a little bit more about what that means to me particularly. You know, the words sound good, but this literally is my quest. This is my, my life's work. This is my mission. This is what I've been doing. And I've been trained to do it and I was born with it. I inherited it from my, uh, my ancestors. And um, I have been a forerunner in uh, this mission to make Orisha Lifestyle um, a learning community, to cultivate within us a, a real love and appreciation for learning. And what I mean by that is um, when I came into the tradition People were reluctant, if not hostile, towards um, open teaching. Um, uh, open, like uh, in the in the computer world, they call it open source. And um, I think being exposed to the computer industry, uh, when 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 the dot com and and all the other you know smart technology that we're working right with right now, it was just coming into being. And open source was a big big deal. So. I was building a website back in 98, 97, right? Building a website, uh, not because I was so adept at computer technology, but because I was in the Bay Area and I worked in the computer industry and open source was just how they, how they did it. So you could go to a, 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 a different websites and data banks and you could, you could get free information. It was kind of an honor system. You could, you could, you could uh, make a donation and stuff like that, but it was free. And so I got access to the technology and started messing around. And, you know, I'm fairly adept with a computer. I'm comfortable with it. I'm not a programmer by any stretch, but I'm comfortable with it because I got, you know, exposure early. But um, when I came into the Orisha community, I was, I was, when I should, when I, when I, when the internet kicked off and I started to communicate with Orisha devotees around the world, I was struck by people's hostility towards sharing information the way in which people would really panic when they got new information the way that people who were steeped in knowledge and and had years and years of experience were really intolerant and quite incapable of assimilating new information they just they would panic and uh, as a learner that's the last thing you want. That's, the, that's, that's totally antithetical to learning. When I have a question, when I want to share information, when I want to um, uh, um, benefit from, from basic things that, that you know as an experienced practitioner, it's a total turnoff for people to attack you. And so um, 
that's what I mean by creating a learning environment. So I've been I've been at the forefront. I've been I've been leading the charge for years and years now. And so that's why when you look at my my YouTube channel, when you look at my blog, when you go to my Facebook page, you can go back years and years and years and years and years and find lots of high quality information because I want to share. I don't share secrets. I don't divulge things that the lay person can't know, understand or make sense of. I don't do that. I'm not just putting things out there for shock value and try to say, oh, look, I know something. I want to give you the best quality information to help you to think and make decisions and connect the dots so that you can have a really informed understanding of what this tradition is all about. It's so beautiful. It's so it's so uh, wise. It's so it's so replete with deep, 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 deep teachings. And I think that you should be prepared to gain access to that information. And so what I'm doing is setting the stage for you to then build the kinds of relationships that will um, position you to go deep if, you know, that's part of your your path. So all of that is a bit of the backdrop of what I'm saying, what I mean when I say the Abel Kutak campus is an extension of creating a community of learners within the Orisha, uh, the ranks of Orisha devotees. And um, I want you to be a part of it. I want you to be an active participant. Uh, at the very least, make a contribution, make a donation, $50, $500, $1,000, $5,000, right? I know that, that we have the resources in our ranks. We just need people to understand the vision enough uh, to um, know that this is a golden opportunity to, um, you know, make your legacy uh, uh, and to enrich your legacy with with this, uh, you know, with this contribution, with this, you know, uh, engagement and participation in the movement. So uh, visit me at obafemio.com and, um, you know, follow the links. There's a um, I'll put a link also in the, the description here below so that you can go to the GoFundMe, make your contribution, share the link with other folks. And uh, know that we're going to do exactly what we say we're going to do. And that is help to bring about the good condition for ourselves and those who we are destined to serve. And we're going to do that through education. We're going to do that through learning. We're going to do that through teaching. We're going to do that through development of people from the inside out and from the bottom up. All right. So please join us. Be a part of this great movement. And uh, I look forward to working with you all. Bye for now. Odabo.